what's up, man? It's Pillsbury Doughboy, Pillsbury Doughboy TV. Hey, man, today we finna talk about, according to Chicago Sometimes, we finna talk about the former black disciples, King Marvell Thompson. Now, Marvell Thompson is the leader, is the dude who made the Blue Fin Black Disciples. He took a lot of black disciples, put them, put them under the five-point star. That's the dude who did that. That's what make him a little famous, you know, in the streets. Well, that's what made him famous in the early 2000s. Right now. Okay, so it say a judge reduced the sentence of the ex-leader of one of Chicago's biggest gangs to 30 years after he appealed under the First Step Act and apologized for his crimes. Now, this is in, well, this is by Frank Mayne on August 18th, 2020. So, this is recently. So, he had got his prison sentence cut by a third. He had got a 45-year sentence. So, in um, the 45-year sentence, he had got it cut by a third, which is, a pretty a pretty nice size percentage if you got a pie and you cut it in thirds you can only get three thirds so they took a third away a third from 45 is 15 so take 15 after the tick take away 15 from 45 leave leave you still with 30. So it say a federal judge in Chicago cut the former king of the Black Disciples' 45-year drug conspiracy sentence by a third, but wouldn't wouldn't free Marvell Thompson. U.S. District Judge Elaine Buckler reduced the sentence of ex-leader of one of Chicago's biggest street gangs 30 years after he filed an appeal under the Federal First Step Act and apologized for his crime. I read that. Buckler, who had sentenced Thompson in 2007, said in her ruling Tuesday that he appears to have led a productive life in prison and said that he figured that figured into her decision. But Bucklow wrote that she still needed to promote respect for the law, impose just punishment, and provide adequate de deterrence. I so they say in a letter to Bucklow Thompson said he was sorry for his illegal misleads and the Robin Hood persona he took on in Inglewood, the South Side neighborhood where he told the judge that he paid rent for poor parents and bought clothes and school supplies for the children. He acknowledged you cannot simultaneously build up and destroy that which you purport to love. I embarked on the path of illegal misleads that would eventually completely destroy not only my life but the lives of every person I ever loved and cared about including those in the community I most identify with based upon our common experience with living poor he wrote okay so Bucklow said she wasn't sure the awakenings Mr. Thompson describes in his letter is genuine as he continued to deny his leadership role in a, cons in a conspiracy as recently as 2015 Okay, prosecutors opposed Thompson's effort to get his sentence cut or released, writing that he led one of the biggest gangs, most violent gangs in the city. Gang activity and the gang lifestyle that he championed continued to plague the communities he victimized. Three of Thompson's co-defendants have already been freed under the 2018 First Step Act, and another top black disciple leader got his sense got his 25 year sentence reduced to 20 years he is now set to be released in 2025 2025 now the guy that's set to be released in 2025 is not marvell thompson that's another uh black disciple leader yeah so um marvell thompson is the guy that um, started the Blue Fin Black Disciples. Uh, 
Okay, now this is this is according to Chicago Sun Times. Okay, it say Thompson became king of the Black Disciples in the 1990s, succeeding in prison. Jerome Freeman, according to prosecutors, they said Thompson laundered proceeds from illegal drug sales through more than a dozen properties and used the buildings in a mortgage fraud scheme, even as he gave his time and money to community groups. Now that's according to, that's according to prosecutors, not me. So, all right, so real yeah, dude became popular in the in the um, late '90s, early 2000s, and um, you know, some people would may say, as far as when he was on the streets, I guess you know he did his thing, but he was bogus. He took a decent amount of black disciples and he put them under a five point star. Uh, uh, a, cre a, a five point a blue crescent or whatever you want to call it I don't, you know the crescent is what the vice lords and the stones and them got the sons of the five you know it's like a Muslim thing and he was bogus and so so a lot of people were saying like you know you it was some fake BDs and you know you got the real BDs as under the six point star. The six point star is the star of Dave, the star of King Dave Barksdale. That's the six point star. So that's what the BDs is under. They if you under the six point star, you folks. If um, you under the five point star, you under the brothers. Um, I was looking on the internet. They, they talking about some people. I don't know where that people stuff come from. We don't even say that in Chicago. You under the five point star. You one of the brothers. You know what I'm saying? But, but, um, yeah, that's what happened. So they say he became king. He tried to become king. He was never really no king or no black disciples, man. You know what I'm saying? He tried to do it, though. He, he um, like I said, he took some black disciples and he put them under the fire. But... The most of the black disciples stayed under the six point star, and I think that's the reason why a lot of the black disciples started banging their heads to the left. You know what I'm saying? Because back in the day, a lot of them was some of them was banging it to the left, though a lot of them was banging it to the right. So, because you know you bang your head to the left, that's what that's you know that's that's what the stones and the lords do. They you know what I'm saying? And and but at the same time, you got even then, you got insane gangsters. They can bang it to the left. You, you know what I'm saying? You can be insane GD. It's a lot of renegade GDs like Boss Pimps, Crazy Click, or Crazy Click that used to be GD. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they might. You know what I'm saying? People, they be like, they used to be GD. But they, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And, um... And a lot of other gangs that came from GD that they don't mention, like Lynchman Sircon gangsters, um, and other stuff I can't even think of right now. But anyway, but yeah, but Marvell Thompson, he became, he tried to claim King, you know, like at late 90. He, you know, he, he succeeded in what, he, he kind of succeeded in what he wanted to do because he took a nice amount of BDs and put them under. They were super GDK. They was super. I'm talking about, man. You know what I'm talking about? They was closer, like, to the stones and stuff, you know? So it was. it is what it is, you know? And a lot of people don't talk about them like that, like that, so they I be noticing. But if you talk to some OGs, they can definitely talk about it. I got I got cousins that's, that's BDs from Avalon Park. And I asked one of my cousins one day, like, like, man, what's up with them blue fins? You know what I'm talking about? Like, what the, what the fuck is that all about? You know, because people were saying, like, they fake, they bogus. You know what I'm saying? And, and they was getting violated when they was going to county jail and all that, you know. But my cousin told me one day, he was like, you know, he really he really don't care. You know what I'm saying? As long as you BD, you BD. So looking at it like that, I was thinking, like, that's maybe how a lot of them was thinking about it, too. You know what I'm saying? So, 
And this is another gang in Chicago that they got one set that's under the six point star, and they got another set that's under the five point star. I can't even think of it right now. I don't even want to. I don't. I don't want to say um, the name of something. I can't even think of it right now. But it's it's another gang that's like that. You know, so I can't think of the name of it right now. But but yeah, man, it was it was crazy around them times because I grew up with B. I grew up with BD, I got cousins BD, I ain't, I ain't never have a problem with no BD in my life. I was always fucking with them, for real, for real. But, you know, I used to go chill on Ada Park, like, especially when somebody gets, you know what I'm saying, something happened to somebody in the neighborhood or something, me and my guy, we may, we may go Ada Park or something, or we may go to, like, 63rd Aberdeen or something, you know what I'm saying, but... You know what I'm saying? We get out the neighborhood while it's hot, but um, yeah, man, they they was considered bogus. They was considered bogus. They was considered fraudulent, for real, for real. But you know, I guess some of them they ain't really care, man. It was what it was, though, man. And dude, he ended up snitching. He became he became Marvel Thompson. Ended up ended up um becoming a um. But he he ended up snitching. You know what I'm saying? You can read about it yourself, everything. So he ended up, he, you know, but he did his little time on the street. He became king under his own sets, you know, not really under the Black Disciple Nation, but under his own little sets, under his own little thing. He did his little thing on the streets. But look, though, he got hit 45 years, 45 you know what I'm saying? That little shit on the street, man, I like that shit don't even be worth it, I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? That's why I love, man. I'm not look, it don't it don't be worth it. Forty five years. Then get a third cut of the forty five. Get a third cut, a third a nice portion. A third of forty five is fifteen. So we forty five is thirty years though. Thirty years still you gotta do. Fair time you gotta do at least like eighty five percent at the very least. Fair time. Eighty five percent of thirty is man 80 85 percent of 30 is like 26 years it's like around 26 years so that's what i'm saying man that game shit ain't worth it man you know live your life get that money take care of your family take care of your family man that's 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 what it is man but Pillsbury, dope boy, man, we're going to be back, man.